my mic was muted. So hello everyone. Welcome to another RR match. And we'll get these streams up because they would be nice to have. And uh, while I'm doing that, I'm actually just going to introduce Infrafun, who joined me for the co-cast. How are you doing, Infrafun? I'll, I'll ramble along for a bit then <laughs> while you are <laughs> setting up the streams. Uh, hi, Observer. Thanks for having me. Uh, excited for this match. Zion called the Roulette Rookie, but maybe far, far from his first Roulette event. And I guess the same could be said for Ducker, only the sixth time RR champion, probably played with the most matches, I guess, only second to Yanni, who's always on two brackets when he can. But uh, yeah, really excited for this one. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm really excited for Ambrose. I think we were just saying it's the first time it's been picked so far in RR. It probably came up in a couple of um, RNG deciders, but it doesn't seem to be a popular map for picks. As it is the newest map as well, so a lot to be learned on it. Yeah, I, I guess for the World Championship it was already a kind of well-known map and it was always at the bottom of the picks. So I guess it just, people aren't really fond of learning a 19th map and it's probably the reason why Zionical chose it. Ducker, of course, knows a lot about the Season 1 and 2 maps and we'll see how Zionical prepared for this newest map with the first Spin Observer. Yeah, so we have Null Crest, Explosive Weapon as the Engineer, and Akka, Melee, Folding Knife, Pirate. So we're going to see the first uh, new condition on Ambrose. Uh, melee, Folding Knife, so that's Life Kill, and Null, of course, can be done when he's knocked out. So not the worst spin, but we'll have to see. hope these streams are not stuck, or they're just really thinking hard. They are both really, I think the fact that it's a melee condition, although Ducker is now quickly on the playing screen. But I mean, it's interesting because no one is set up. So you would maybe want to start with isolating him. Other than that, uh, Akka's folding knife is uh, right next to the shrine star. And of course, the pirate is next to her. So it also makes sense to start with her. Yeah, I agree. It's going to be interesting to see the approaches. We might see some late Akka stuff. And yeah, the embed's already breaking. That's exactly why I prepare for these things. Absolutely. Red for using the embeds. Uh, the embeds on my side were lagging, but I swapped over to the window capturing. Hopefully it's a bit better now. Yeah, good thing you did prepare. I did say it's a really nice thing for you to do. So now we are on the other ones. From... Yeah. Let's hope this is better. Zai is the first one in, or he might just be a bit ahead of us, but that could be, uh, not be far behind. Oh, and I'm worried that both of my backups are bad right now. I really hope they're not. Um, I'm trying to think of a quick plan C, but uh, maybe a radio commentary would be the only one. Oof, yeah. Hopefully this stabilizes in a second. This is exactly why I test these things, but... It's not like you do anything wrong or anyone does anything wrong. It's just, I guess, through the last six months, but I guess especially lately. Yeah. Just the streams don't want to work. Joker says that it's... It's fixed on Streamlabs. It's it's so hard to believe. Like, what's the difference between the two? <laughs> it's crazy. Two programs yeah. to prompt it. Yeah, in the crazy scenario that um, it doesn't stabilize soon, which it usually does. Um, I can quickly switch over to Streamlabs as I do have it ready as well. Yeah, apologies for this. What did you prepare though? Yeah, it <laughs> just happens. True, but yeah, regardless from, from what we can see, it seems like Zionical is doing pretty well. Already has an um, engineer grab straight away, and Ducker is going for uh, the Batch from ISO and Null straight away for the social circle. And unless, I was going to say, unless Zai did it differently this time around, but he did it the same. So both started with a seeker shot, no durian, no later emetics. And well, we skipped over the part why Zai started, but. Probably the ice or something didn't work. Yeah, it looks like Buck is a bit cautious by knocking out this guard. It does get him. Oh, these streams. 
Let's try the other ones again, just in case. Nope. <laughs> oh, she There's always something. She... But yeah, we'll be fine for this map, and like I said, we'll fix it for uh, the next one. We had a reset from Zai there. Just missed it, but I think just didn't like where they were situated with no. But yeah, Docker is doing pretty well two minutes deep into it. I'm really curious to see the Aka approaches from both players. Yeah, especially with this timing. Uh, it had to have been Tucker preparing the C4 in a briefcase, right? I don't think Zai went quite that far in the run, so it means that Tucker just really needs the Akais and looks like he's going to be with the Durian. Problematic to bring the uh, spiders away, yeah. Shout out to Mil for reminding me I have the game open. <laughs> That's probably why no I was calling it a bit of back. <laughs> <laughs> that would do it. And look at that absolute goof. And it's, it's so much smoother already. Too many things That's going on. That's so funny. Thanks, Mil. <laughs> Saving the stream. Yeah. Instant. Um, difference at least from from my end i hope it's the same for you it's a bit better yeah it looks good here it looks good on the stream just a couple of seconds behind so let's hope that the next many maps will be <laughs> enjoyable like this but yeah I'm going for the folding knife now yeah folding knife is an interesting uh, weapon it's one of those um items that would honestly nearly be enough of a reason to start over there you see it on a couple mm -hmm. of maps, especially like Sappy, if you get something like um, Old Axe. There is the it kill just... for Zai as well. Did a remote with the Breacher in the bathroom, which is very nice. It's not as big of a map, but still nice to uh, trim down on the trips you need to make. But I think Zai still needs the Falling I think oh. Dark and Red, I think it was heard by the other Cars maybe or, or someone nearby could it could have been a cook who's looking outside the window. Yeah, if no one's in the bathroom, it would be safe. The only scenario I'd imagine is either a guard wasn't knocked out, and so I didn't know that the guard would always come back and look for him in the bathroom, or somebody mm. heard the breacher get popped, which is also likely because it does make a little bit of noise. I find it really funny in one of the discords. I think Moon showed it for the tomorrow I so the the breaching charge launched tomorrow out of space. Uh, it wasn't the case this time, just unfortunate, I guess, how the bleachers seem to work lately. Yeah. And like chat saying as well, um, Ambrose is notorious for everybody hearing every piece of audio, especially by that Noel fire barrel. If you even shoot him in the head the wrong way, people upstairs will hear it. Oh, lovely kill from Ducker. Love this spot for the Seeker. Yeah, same here. We've seen the double limatic with the Durian, and I expected her to go to the upstairs bathroom where mm. you usually take her. Yeah, I have a nice one myself, so I used to do, and it's really rare she'll go down. Sometimes no will um, go fire barrel and she'll go there or she'll take the bathroom, but usually it's Aka goes back to her toilet and no goes to his, but it worked out for Ducker and he um, played it well, if that was not his intention. That's the live kill down, and now the remote kill potentially. Maybe wants to see if everything is safe there. I'll just go for the engineer. Yeah, and I think chat is right. I think Docker actually thought Metal Worker was the disguise for a minute, and then saw the word engineer, and now they're looking at the map to try to remember where the hell an engineer would be. <laughs> the, the six very distinctive disguises, but it doesn't really matter in that you can always. Just be too nervous and not pay enough attention and mess it up. Nice on Ducker to check it, who is now going back to the pier, hopefully. Yeah, this is the probably one of the best engineers to grab. My knowledge, at least. I don't think... It, is there a free one? Is that free one up by Akka's compound, or is it a metal worker? I think it's it a is a metal worker. Yeah. Yeah, it's the easiest one. Also, the only one I know. Uh, it's just such a good engine grab that... 
you don't really even want to learn others. Of course, it would be better to have more. With his eye, another restart with the isolation. What I'm curious now is Dunker must have delivered the bomb and has it pretty comfortably there, but I think they're worried about an exit plan now. I think mm. Dunker could be looking for a wrench. Yeah, no wrenches by the boat, to my knowledge. Unless you could actually there's one under the bar. Um, where Noel would go before he could serve this food. I think that's the only part that Tucker's missing. He wants to. Huh. Well, Noel's down. Yeah, I'm curious. The C4 set up. The wrench is right behind that bar, but I really can't tell if that's what Tucker's looking for. And yeah, I'm not sure if he, if he set up the bomb. I would hope so. I do see a couple of detonators in his inventory. I think that is just like I cannot think of any other item you would be want to look for here. Yeah. Me neither. I'm a bit worried that Doctor um, might be misreading something because I have no idea what they could be looking for. There is a key there. That's for the restaurant. If yep, the key does open a couple of doors there, but you only want to get a bag of sugar from there or get inside to prepare the food for you know that not important for this spindle. And yeah we can see the two detonators as well in Ducker's inventory so it would make me think that the the bomb is ready. <laughs> the two detonators and the GPS checker <laughs> only for Ambrose. Yeah unfortunately a pretty useless item now. I see this time time again a lot of people when doing this backroom they throw the crowbar against the wall and since Ambrose is a broken map, it's actually inaccessible to the guards, so they don't walk anywhere near it. So they have to they, they stay outside of the bushes, and then it makes it very difficult. Just such unfortunate audio issues with the wall. Yeah, and it was just a body found in the end, at the end of the animation, but not like shortly after the animation, it was not compromised or anything. Yeah, yeah what she's saying, Ducker has won R six <laughs> times. Um, none of the RRs took place in Ambrose, so probably his first or second map only here. And we might see the exit here now. Ducker, good timing with the guy. Let's get the key. I hope they realize that. That's the wrong hut for the key. Well, I hope they don't shoot and get compromised. Ducker's tempted, but first wants to look for the key. Or I guess oh. you should know that it's a brick there. Oh, Ducker, all oh, the risk there for a unimportant door. This is scary stuff now for Ducker. We have a lot of people looking around. I hope they realize it's the wrong hut. I think he did very quickly looking in there and well, he's trespassing in here, but once he gets outside, there's nothing else that could do wrong. Cutting it a bit close, also the Exit that's gonna pop there. Ah, he gets that. the kill, and of course the satellite is instant. Oh, they didn't get it, did they? They didn't get the satellite. Yeah. Or maybe it's yeah. server lag. I'm trying to I see, but there's a body found. The satellite didn't get to, or the bomb didn't get delivered. Where could it have went that didn't kill someone? That was my question. Either it didn't get found, or it would go to the the hut where the pirates are playing cards right next to social spawn. And that would be an instant non-target yeah. kill, so that definitely didn't happen. That's very surprising. Maybe they used a, an item that didn't reach it, but you would have got searching. Yeah, that's crazy. I'd love to know what happened there. I'll have to watch that back later. I have a hunch that Tucker brought a second breacher. I need to check his inventory again. But oh. I remember at the back of my mind, but now he has a C4, so I'm, I'm not sure, but I, I remember something there weirdly. It was a C4. Thank you, Joker. Well, meanwhile, Zantel got the kill, so the tables have turned. Yep, it's a minute 50 lead. Life is still to go, but it's the eye for the first time. Probably in the lead of this uh, Ambrose spin. Yeah, and that is, to be fair, it is a new kill condition, so it probably could be seen as the toughest half of 
of uh, the spin right now, especially the whoosh from Akka. Bit of a trek as well to get that folding knife. It's not an easy disguise. Yeah, this guy really needs... I was going to say he really needs an emetic uh, to get Akka, but I guess you could, yeah, wait for this uh, Agent Smith's room and isolate her here. Yeah, that'd be actually perfect for this. Pirate's even delivered for you right behind her. So you just got to go get that folding knife. However, has Thy dealt with the bomb? I don't know if we've... It's so hard to keep track whenever people um, deliver the bomb because it's about 15 second action. Oh, I think that might be a restart anyway because of the cage. It's not an actual wall. And I think that this section turned into a full peekaboo there because yeah. the door was still open. And Super died. unfortunate head so. turn for the pirate, though. He locked on to that cage. Yeah, Zai wasn't far away there, though. Ooh, we restart now because of, I guess, the delay. And yeah, we'll have to see if Ducker has troubles with this kill again. So, and we also know that this breacher does get found because Ducker deals with the guards. And the guards are obviously are the only people that would look for Noel after he is um, killed or knocked out. So, somebody's definitely hearing it. Probably the pirate above, which takes about six, seven seconds, I'd say, to come down. Yeah, I think it makes sense to do it as an exit kill. At least it's at an insta spot. Might be with a loud explosion. It's a difficult kill, regardless. But uh, I really don't know what happened with that uh, C4 slash uh, satellite. My only, like, idea would be somehow it got stuck in the boat or it glitched through the ground. Because the fact that it wasn't found or delivered anywhere that caused an NTK is just crazy to me. I'd love to know why. Yeah, it really strange. And we didn't see the briefcase icon on the beach either. Or at least I didn't. Not that I was looking a lot. Yeah, I'd always uh, recommend using that briefcase. Helps so much with um, wasted time at the end when you're not too sure where the, the bomb is. Yeah, definitely. Although Dakar def uh, still didn't deliver it this time around. I just want to use a safer option, maybe. Bring it closer yeah. to the caves. Yeah, definitely a viable chat as well, but it does take a bit of time. We did see Zai throw it, didn't throw it in the briefcase, of course, though. So, but it'll take so long to get both the kills that the bomb will definitely be delivered by then. Yeah, not a problem here. Let's see if Zai can get this no kill. They had it fine the, the last time round. They had both the guards dealt, but I think they did a double trank, which we see them unpacking as well. So for Ducker, it's once again the Noel kill set up, and now Akka will be upstairs or her bathroom, and you can see the guard down here. But oh, wow. that gets gets in his disguise. It was a bit of um, loop de looping for uh, Zionicle there. He kept chaining a a bush lore over and over, but he was able to try and put the guards. We're going to get this kill quickly, but he's on a bit of a timer. Because somebody saw the trank bodies, but it looks like they are good. No enforcers. Yeah, running closer and closer. But nice green gun kill. And it's going to be one kill each at this point. We Ducker the second setup, and Zaina going for the Akka kill. Still, it's in Ducker's hands. If, um, I guess the C4 works, at least for the second time. Yeah, I don't, like I said, it could have happened in the time being, but hopefully uh, Ducker uses the briefcase if they, if they haven't already, that bomb, so they have a bit more of an indicator. Oh, and Zai going for this pirate again. Oh, and goes for the sub -Jew. oh my god, and that pirate. I guess there's a very little oh. time to do it, but the metal workers from outside is also a problem. Yeah, super unfortunate. And that's cycle base as well. It's just really unlucky timing for as I yeah. there. Oh, and here we go. Ducker is delivering the bomb. Are they going to deliver it fully by hand or just hand it off to this guard? Probably hand it off, right? Yeah, good question. Maybe, yeah, throw it as close as possible. Or, I mean, as the militia marker, you could. I, I guess you 
don't want to risk it with the cameras. No, Duck is going inside. Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> it's uh, getting scary dodging the enforcer there. Yeah, it's not very often you see people going in here. Oh, and I'd still be scared about this this bomb getting spotted, but it would get seen and put in the box right next to it, so maybe it wouldn't be the end of the world. And I was wondering if this means that Ducker will exit uh, a speedboat, but no, he's going back to the long tail boat, which means that one more enforcer to dodge a full whoosh. Oh, oh and now he's stuck between a rock and a hard place. He has to do another distraction to get out of here. Another apple. It's the second apple. <laughs> two apples for the two way, two way exit. Oh, still very scary though. He has to dodge the camera as well, otherwise the cams are going to be such a pain. Oh, this is not... Oh my god, Docker. Thank goodness that the random crate can be vaulted upon, because otherwise Docker would still have like six minutes ahead of him, but now he can blow the C4 for the secondary objective and one more breaching charge to go. Need to change back to the correct skies. Yeah, very nice. Let me see Zai getting the kill again. A lot of ground to catch up on, though. You'd have to imagine something going wrong for a Docker with this Breacher kill. It would be a, a lot of explosion troubles for Docker for the same spin. Yeah, exactly. At least with this one, they know they can place the Breacher and wait at the exit with that satellite. I still would let know what happened, but... Zai's going to go for this Pirate again, I think. Hopefully. Works out a bit safer for them. Yeah, it just seems it's too little too late. The body found is from the Chank slash Chanks, I guess, on the English soldiers. Yeah, exactly. And looks like he's going to go for it. Looks like they are going to opt to go in the cage again. The troll was a bit more right this time, so maybe they'll be okay. But Ducker is so close to the exit, we're probably going to have an exit before we see this pirate grab for Zai. Yeah, we've seen it from the previous round that you are just passing in here. NPC, I think it's coming in here though. Ooh. Okay, no, he's going around the house. Thank God. Did look close. And the Breacher kill. Green guns. And it looks good. And there's the finish from Ducker. What an Ambrose. Wow. 21 minute opener. Tucker takes the 2 0 lead, and probably frustration for Zai losing his own map pick and getting quite close to finishing himself. I think he won't be happy about this one. Yeah, but I would love to see if that pirate grab um, worked out for Zai the first couple of times. Uh, the ending of this spin would have been interesting because they're on a really good pace to get this falling knife and meet Aka in that smith room, I think. Yeah, it's really unfortunate because it feels like he's really just. Minute and a half away from finishing, get the folding knife, and Akka will be at a very nice position to be isolated, and then the C4 to finish it off. Yeah, exactly. And Zanka was delivering that bomb super early, which was really good to have on Ambrose because he saved a lot of time. And there it is, confirmation. So that was the 47 second timer. We can kind of eyeball it. I think Akka is moving, so that would be a kill. I guess 30 seconds from now, and then bits of a chip, it's more than a minute, but still a close and there was a little back and forth. Yeah, for sure. Now, yeah, would have been really nice to see the IGT of this for Zionical. Not even sure what exit, I think it's just always boat exit, right? I know there's a submarine, but I don't think I've ever seen somebody do submarine. I don't even know how to get to that prompt. <laughs> I'm still missing a few events from uh, Ambrose, but uh, I know it's something with a hippie and it's to the tower on this, to the right. Yeah, but, uh, exactly. And we're going to get to see yeah. the ending to this um, for Zionical. What a really good IGT. Sub 5 is amazing. I think the record including planning is like in the four minutes as well. So would have been a really nice IGT. Yeah. I it won't be a legal finish, and so I would need to go the long way around to get the engineer, but 
solid in game time, just a bit too late, sadly. Yeah, super nice scene finish there. And yeah, we're moving to Miami, which I, I like to think. People think I love this map. I, I, I don't know if it's still. <laughs> I remember yeah. we used to be absolutely crazy about it, but it's a great map. And there's a lot of interesting spins, like Falling Object for Hydro Target is always fun to see here. Some of the consumed are really fun. I guess this would be one map where you would definitely want to make the new conditions appear because the, I guess the one criticism of Miami is that it gets uh, too straightforward and easy sometimes. And yeah. if you add the, not really the firearm eliminations because that work easily on both targets, but the uh, Sierra fire lethal melee, melee kills uh, would definitely throw a wrench into their plans. True. Yeah, great point from Mill. Best one target map in the game, without a doubt. <laughs> justice for Bob. <laughs> yeah, justice for Bobby. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we had a record broken on this in the last hour as well. I think it was our oldest record, right? Set by our admin, Yanni. Uh, Danny beating it. But uh, I think it was a surprising spin as well. It wasn't a sniper one. It was like screwdriver mascot or something for uh, Bobby. Yeah, it's it's funny because the the simplest spins in Miami can be par with, I guess, a mediocre sniper spin, and that was a mediocre sniper spin for Yanni uh, way back when. And then Danny with something really simple, but no sniper taking the record by three, four, five seconds. Yeah, I'd love to see. There's definitely a lot of potential for this record to be smashed. I feel like if the stars aligned, we could see something in the three minutes. We saw it with Santa. The stars aligned, you can shave a lot of minutes off. And that was that record was set before the Miami record as well. Oh, Funny God, enough. yes. <laughs> that Great is cast. final group stage match. Is it, was it our cast? It, no, it was yourself and Yanni. So Yanni got to ah. witness the, the massacre of the Miami recce live in front of their eyes. <laughs> poor Yanni and poor Jotes. Oh, and I called for that. You can take this one for fun. Well, I guess this won't be any easier than the last one. Sierra Knox consumed poison as the car wound driver. And Robert Knox allowed the SMG elimination as Kronstadt security. Yeah, interesting one. Very um, tailored uh, disguises for both targets, I would say. Car wound driver. Uh, you'll probably see get grabbed pretty early, and then it's just going to be a bit of uh, consumed poison shenanigans buffering your disguises, and the ending's going to be fun to see. Let us into elimination because you got to deal with a couple of people for that one. Yeah, I so I haven't really played since the new conditions came out, but I do remember us checking the uh, the soundproofness mm. of Robert's area, and the laptop is correct me if I'm wrong, but it's not, or I guess it's close to being uh, explosion proof, but it's definitely loud gun proof if you get rid of the two. Yeah. other securities in the cam box. I'd say like two meters around the window, maybe in a meter and a half around the window is the only place that's not safe to shoot a loud gun if the people in the office are off the... If, if they're up, then it's all of it's not okay. But if they're knocked out, then just don't be near the window and you're fine. But yeah, explosion, you can only do around the laptop or the door. But luckily, they have more room to play with since it's loud SMG, which I actually don't know if there is any on Miami. I know there's a lot of loud pistols. Uh, there is at least one, or at least in one area. The, I guess the penthouse and the gym area has some uh, loud SMGs carried by the Kronstadt Securities, all too handy though, so this would be a brine damage SMG. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, a lot of planning as well. Really long one, nearly two minutes on the clock, and they're both uh, hoping to get in soon, I hope. Yeah, it should be. Oh, was I the first one, but I think held back by a bit of a console server delay, but there's the double loading screen, Docker not even having the targets, not there. But yeah, I do think we're going to see... Ooh, I thought we are going to have a really quick restart for Cyanical there, but <laughs> just would have added more loading time to the photo finish. But yeah, I feel like we're going to see pretty similar approaches. It does seem like a very... Um... Oh, never mind. Docker starts <laughs> event crew. Didn't expect that. Uh, oh, I guess this will be the new versus the old, because uh, Ducker, I would be very sure that we'll be making Sierra win and kill her with the trophy poisoning. Oh. 
And with Zai, a newer player, uh, more having more affinity for the newer strats, um, could be seen serving the food to her after making her lose. Uh, not this attempt though, because the crowd wasn't oh, and hiding him well enough. I don't know if chat is right. I see channel saying it. Did Zionical forget to bring a loud SMG? Oh, I did miss that, but at least oh. Zai's side definitely saw SMGs. Yeah, it seems like he just forgot to box the Cohen Driver. I thought he forgot to bring the item that was necessary for the kill, but yeah, Cohen Driver could bite them if they don't box them, which I didn't catch the first time. A good spot by chat. We can try and see it again, crowbar in hand, so definitely KO and uh Zai is leaving him outside, yeah. I think it's a Sotranio mechanic who comes in here, but maybe even a cross that mechanic himself for roleplay purposes. Yeah. Just like both players having a bit of trouble though. Uh let's see Zionical heading up this way. And realizing they shouldn't head up that way. But yeah, Doc is having trouble with stopping the race in time, I believe. I think they don't want to miss a whole lap. So they're just uh, restarting, trying to get that first lap uh, finish up the race. Because it does cost a lot of time. I think it's like 40-something seconds for a lap. Yes. I I was going to say it's 30, but, you know, it's the same kind of deal. But <laughs> Doc is losing more real time by forcing a console restart. Yeah. True. I hope that's not the reason, but... Loading times are being racked up, that's for sure. What? Oh, oh, I was about to say, what happened to Docker there? The game was like, yeah, go on, I'll change your disguise for you. It's, it's Hitman 2 animations where you didn't get a new disguise instantly, and that made for uh, a couple of even closer calls in the early days of Roulette, but Docker got his uh, race marshal eventually. And so I got that vital information, hopefully early enough to realize that cone driver got found, so that's going to make. So I at least box up a driver. Luckily that damn driver doesn't get found in like six minutes because that would be devastating for that information Imagine. to be retained then. Yeah. Yeah, I love this from Ducker. I haven't seen this uh, trophy poison in a very long time. It's gonna chain up nicely with some Robert kills, but this is gonna be the loud live Robert kill, which I don't yet see happening on any part of his route because yeah. he's going through sorry just uh, he's going through the, the the lab area going down the stairs where he would go to the aquarium and then through the octane booster garage where Ducker is here right now it will never be soundproof yeah it's gonna be really um interesting to see what approach they do because i wouldn't my, I'm, i myself wouldn't even know where to begin that kill bringing robert down because we're so um, comfortable with that laptop area at this point. But it's going to be interesting to see it when it does arrive. Docker's going to get his SMG. I, I mean, Tucker may not necessarily want to make it a chained kills. And I think by the fact that Tucker is going up there, I think he wants to get rid of Robert as soon as possible, maybe even before he goes down to meet Sierra, which won't happen for a few more minutes, so maybe he's on time. Yeah, I am interested to see. And is Sai actually going for a similar concept here? Not That's going to end the race. He, he had the sugar, but I guess it's not for, for that reason. Yeah, that's surprising. Maybe uh, they're just speeding up the, the sugar in a, in a sense so they can get um, everything ready in the, the serving the food room. Uh, that could work very well, too. Yeah, the point uh, I though... guess we... oh, Sorry, go, you go on. I guess you won't find out. Oh, with the replant, we definitely won't find out what prompt he will press. Oh. Unfortunate for Zai. And I was just going to say to the chat that that bathroom for Robert isn't actually um, soundproof. Or because uh, there's a window in that room. So the guy outside can hear it and some other people can hear it. So it's actually scarier than doing it out here by the laptop. Unless you deal with people, of course. It's sadly not, not two drawers with the bathroom. The 
the window this time around functions as a window and, and it's, I guess it's opened as a whole and uh, people outside can hear it. Exactly. And Docker dealing with the cameras necessary for this loud kill. And there's the cams as well. But yeah, Zai hopefully has corrected whatever it was that they had to replan for. Maybe they weren't comfortable with ending the race the way they did. So, moment of truth, of course, Sierra's now working. And he's on a trigger, so is Robert, but not the same one, luckily. Laptop kill can be done. Now these, the second door is closed. Yeah, these doors, I was literally about to say, if you don't close the second door, you're really pushing your luck. You might get a searching. Ooh. <laughs> oh, poor Decker. You have to wait a couple seconds more. Placing a gun now to turn Robert around. Just go for the prompt. Oh, very nice. Gunshot is heard, but that can usually just be the race marshal that's on the bridge, and he won't actually report it to anyone. Yeah, I don't even think he can. He will meet up with the closest event security so far away. Yeah, it looks good for Ducker, I think. You know, Zai is back to where he had the replan earlier. Was it that Zai just forgot like a pivotal item that I didn't catch? Maybe it's just consumed or something in their loadout? Uh, uh, he had the consumed, he had the SMG, he changed out the emetic grenade for something, but I, I missed that. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't quite catch it myself, but yeah, they're both hitting the breaking points now, both of them. Docker's onto Sierra kill as well. And uh, Zai's about to end the race. Intrigued to see uh, Zai's approach to the consumed here, which is probably going to be different to Docker's, like we said. One's going for trophy, the other one's going for the food. Yeah, if it's a quick Sierra poison, I think the quickest Sierra poison can be done three minutes quicker than Ducker, but I think it just means that Zai's first kill will be earlier than Ducker's second kill. We have to see. Oh, he didn't have the lethal pills channel joined. Once again, with observation, Zai had to put the poison into his loadout. Yeah, pretty uh, rough map as well if you don't have poison. I don't, I don't know if there is many um, opportunities to get any way. I know there's little poison in the medic area, but aside from that, yeah. it would be a good backup for sure. Docker got to this Kowoon driver a bit late, so he had to box one person before he could grab him. We get to see his eyes kill now very soon. No. Maybe he wants to grab Kronstadt security first. He's just passing here. The waiter will be a bit of a trouble. Pretty good idea for Zai. Help them get in. Although there is that free waiter inside the door as well, because you wouldn't want to make the run all the way up to here, because you're cutting it even closer for yourself. Yeah, it's going to be. I, I think that's too far away, uh, to be frank. Yeah. Too far between the waiter and the disguise. Bit of gambling, I think, for that. You can get a really long. Oh, and there's trespassing. Oh. I think Zai might be misremembering the the poison, perhaps. I'm not sure what, unless they have something upstairs they really need. Yeah. I think he's definitely looking for the serving. Just yeah. uh, maybe he got scared by the enforcer as well. And there's the lady you have to. Well, usually get rid of the poison. I think it's a very nice quick poison kill, but sadly won't be in this round because for Ducker, she's about to drink from the po uh, from the trophy. Yeah, super nice by Ducker. I didn't even catch the poisoning of the trophy. It must have happened really early on. Yeah, seven twenty, seven twenty-five, and I think a couple of restarts this time as well because. 12 minutes and 10 seconds since the start, but that could be the solid Miami to take a 4-0 lead. Yeah, very nice. My boat there. Seems like I just couldn't get going with that uh, consumed, but it is a tough kill. It's a lot to it, and Docker's OG strat worked out pretty nicely. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I could definitely not knows a lot of strats and keeping it up with all of them would be difficult, but 
Necker very nicely showing it. Well, I mean, consume poison, I think most would still do this way, depending on the kills. But this was really a throwback to the early, early tournaments where uh, you could do this here ISO and then uh, do something with Robert as he's going back, maybe for a different spin. Yeah, I agree. It's a really nice approach and really safe as Ducker showed it. And yeah, we're moving to uh, a really short map. Seems like the maps have been getting. Uh, actually, now Miami is probably longer than Ambrose on average. But this is one of our fastest maps, I believe, with the amazing record by Joker. <laughs> it tends to be on the shorter side, yes. <laughs> but yeah, two console players on Dartmoor. You don't see it very often. Would be, yeah. yeah it, it should still be fairly quick, and uh, I mean, I guess it's too much of a stereotype that shorter map would be more up size early. Yeah, it's a good point. Um, yeah, Zai is known for his speed running, and Ducker probably more so for Oro, as you can see, a six time Oro champion underneath, which is just, I think, the most wins, definitely the most wins for anybody. In that hour, hour. For sure. Yeah, it's going to be a quick one. I'm trying to think, unless we get some consume poison, which is like marmite to the Hitman community. <laughs> Don't wake me up, he's about to sleep. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we get a, a nice spin for this with a bit of variation you always like to see on such a. In uh, quotes, solve the map. But yeah, it's yeah, weird. I... No, um, it is Zai's first time here, but Ducker's performance is pretty nice. Having a more than 50% win on this is a good testament to yourself. And of course, uh, that one th tie, I guess tie or draw, depending on how you look at it, it's not from failing to complete the spin in 30 or 47 minutes, but it just happens when so close between two finishes, I guess two seconds is the margin, then they can share the points after the photo finish. And that's what happened once at, I want to say it's Tucker versus Buff, but could have been any of his previous matches. Yeah, it's definitely one of the maps you uh, would get a photo finish on. I don't I don't know if have you ever had a, a timer run out on Dymor? Maybe back in the, the OG days, right? Or one or something. That's a great question. Uh, there was 60 minutes to, to play Dartmoor when it oh. came, came up first. I I don't think so. I <laughs> I think there were some long ones, but not 60 minutes long. Oh, yeah, that was a Hitman Tree map. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's not R1, but R4. Yeah, right? I completely Same forgot about that. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. My brain was going back. Were they playing Dartmoor back then? But we have our spin, <laughs> and it's a pretty nice one. We're going to see... PI drowning for Alexa, which I have a bit of a hunch that they might start PI for this. And they might make Alexa sick. Yeah, a drowner while you're at it. But yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> I think it is the most straightforward spin because even an X snap you can do from different starts and any other disguise you would have an option to do anything else. But drowning PI, as Docker says or does, don't think just load in. And to be honest, the, the case file and the tokens are actually like a viable choice though on this. Like some players do prefer going straight down, especially with the ledge drop. Somewhat like nerfing the, the case file. Yeah, it's I, th I think it's very valid. Because you can't do the drop. Yeah. If you do this from the other side, you lose some seconds. Uh that, that doesn't mind, he's going up there anyway. Yeah, interesting choice by Tucker. I haven't seen many people uh, do it this way around. In the case of first end doing the drowning. I know you have a lot of time because Darren was a short map, but yeah, interesting for Tucker. They're going to have to go down the pipe, right? They can't bring their disguise down since they brought the PI up. So maybe a couple of tranks. I mean, have a restart anyway from Zai. Oh, I was going to say that pressure is on Zai for taking just a bit longer to load in. There was 15 seconds for Tucker, the advantage. And now Ducker has even more time, and I, I think it makes sense to do it this way, because 
just takes so long for Alexa to reach the bathroom, and I guess the alternative would be to just run around. Yeah, I think it's a good call, and 90 seconds hasn't even passed within the attempt, so plenty of time for Tucker. There is the drown. Now just an escape, which should be pretty easy. Not many trespassing areas, I believe. PI, so... Let's see how this exit goes. And yeah. Green, he goes inside and probably her exit then. And not attempting to go down any ladders near Zachary's side. There's the locked icon there. Seems to pick up the hearse keys from outside and should be 6 0. Yeah, looking pretty uh, unreppable now for Tucker. Just going to get over two minutes by a second. And yeah, that's going to be a GG. Quick one for, uh, for Tucker. Yeah, and unfortunately, look, so I'm getting the wrong kill anyway, I think. That's Bodyguard. Yeah. Uh, unfortunate. Still have to be Ducker's match and uh, Ducker's Venus bracket match, so he's gonna uh, send Zeiss. We'll have one more chance, of course. Yeah, of course. It is a winner's bracket match, so Zai isn't out. They are a rookie and they're going against a six-time RR champion, so the odds were in Ducker's favor, but Zai did put up a bit of competition against them, to be honest, especially Ambrose. Oh yeah, Ambrose could, could definitely have been his. Uh... We didn't quite see Zai's approach in Miami, and then, of course, here, Zai is quick, but I could just do it even quicker. But uh, nice, nice approach by both of them. Yep, I agree wholeheartedly, and good point by Colored Lonely. There is another match coming up really soon, uh, Nizuku and TK, but just, it's in about an hour or so, a bit of time. So that, but we can check what the brackets look like. Alrighty, and let's see what that did for Mr. Ducker. Ducker will be moving on to go against Mika, another great player who is, I think has been in about three RRs, maybe even four RRs, but yeah, great player. That's going to be a really good match. All these matches are great, especially due to the merging of uh, both platforms. We usually only see these kind of matchups in RRWC, but now we get them every... Uh, Every RR, hopefully, if it's six, of course. And with the lower bracket, we are going to have Zai going down to go against FE, who I think was in chat. The GGs. See if those GGs maintain for that match. <laughs> hopefully. But yeah, there's a couple of, I guess I can quickly check. Uh, the winner of Docker and Mika will go on to face ooh, the winner, either Pro, Joker, or Friv. And then Zai could be going on to face a pleasure of people. I can't even check. Danny and Buffy are going to be in the mix with a couple of those. Sire Effie is definitely going to be going against one of those. Yeah, a lot of matches are going to be deciding a lot of uh, lower bracket matches very soon. And check what matches are coming up as well really soon. Alrighty, so we have, like I said, Nizuko and TK. That's coming up, I think, in about... Uh, 70 minutes. Throat and Joker. What a matchup. Paris and Chan. Wow. So good. Love to see that. Both really good players. Uh, they're playing Paris and Chong, like I said. Two hours after the Izuku and TK match. Or sorry, 47 Takas. This is the correct name. <laughs> we have Luke.png and Crazy for Daisy. That's been casted by Nizuko Chan, Hokkaido and Paris. David and Osh, Miami and Segeo. That's also tonight. A lot of matches. Well, technically, uh, that one's tomorrow, but uh, Luke and Crazy is tonight. Scruffy and myself playing tomorrow as well. 10 o'clock CET. Uh, Reaper and Fanium, Hokkaido and Colorado, Friday, 1 a.m. CET. And Fusk and Moo, Mendoza and Bangkok. Disgusting opener. <laughs> Friday at uh, 6 CET. And yeah, other than that, just want to say thank you to Yanini, our admin. Thank you to Zai and Ducker for the match. And of course, thank you as well for fun for the co-cast. Thanks for having me. And thanks for the main cast, as well as these assets. I haven't had the chance to say it live yet. No worries at all. Anything to make it look even cooler. I'll quickly check if any fellow Hitmaners are online. Probably have a Mendy or a Fro, and we do. And let me check quickly. And we will head over to one of them. 
Well, that other fruit. Why not? Pay homage to the man. His name is plastered on the stinger. <laughs> but yeah, thanks everybody for watching. We'll give a, for a quick raid and catch you in 70 minutes for the Nazuka match. Bye-bye.